What's up, y'all? So this past week, we got the chance to go to Sundance Film Festival, and we have a lot of movies that we're going to be doing reviews for all week. We have two reviews coming out today for you, but this is my top five list of the movies that I caught at Sundance with one honorable mention. So before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. We will be having some other videos as well today, as well as our lives, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. But let's get right into this list, and we are still trying to fund our Indiegogo slasher film, so check it out in the description below. But let's talk about Sundance and our favorite films. So before we get into the top five here is one honorable mention which is young wild free which was one of the movies that i really did enjoy and it was kind of hard making this list because i couldn't really decide which movies i wanted but i just was like all right let's just do it but we'll do an honorable mention this one's definitely one i'm excited for to check out again it is directed by thembi banks and it is very insane it is a movie that i think has some beautiful cinematography beautiful shots and just a great story all around um you have uh jules Taylor, who is here uh, writing the screenplay, and you also have Algie Smith and Sierra Capri starring in it. This one's definitely not one to miss once you get to see it and hear about it. No word yet on if anybody's bought it, but I'm pretty sure this one's going to be bought, and we're probably going to see it hopefully by the end of the year. But this one, Young Wild Free, was one I really did enjoy. So now starting off the list, we have number five, which is Infinity Pool, which just came out recently as well. It's released everywhere already. Um, directed and written by Brandon Cronenberg, starring Alexander Skarsgård, uh, Mia Goff, and Cleopatra Coleman. This one was one of the most anticipated movies I had on my Sundance list and although it didn't necessarily hit all the notes I thought it was going to hit, I still enjoyed it. It was very fun to watch it at midnight and just with a full, full theater and just one of those movies that I think lives in your head right after watching it and I'm excited to see it again, check out some of the stuff in it. I do want to make another live talking about it so that will probably be announced later and I'll post about it so you know about it but this one was definitely interesting and like I said, it was just a fun experience at Sundance. Number four on my list is Talk To Me, directed by the YouTubers Raka Raka, who their real names are Danny Philippou and Michael Philippou. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this one was interesting. It's the one that I went in knowing nothing about. I had heard... So this is a story about this one. I had heard about this film the night I watched Infinity Pool um, when these two movies premiered at the same time for the midnight release. And I was just like, hold on, what's everybody talking about here? Ari Aster was in attendance apparently and everybody was saying this is the biggest horror movie of the year for sure. And so the next day I immediately went to go watch it at the uh, press screening amazing it was full everybody was waiting excited you have sophia wilde joe bird alexander jensen here starring and this is a movie that just got bought by a24 which very much so suits it all i will say is a group of like teenagers find a hand that's able to let them conjure up spirits and let them inside of their body and this is to go viral and all of this that's all i'll say they do it for the funds but it doesn't get fun any like it, it turns bad it turns really bad and i will say no more because you definitely have to check this one out once it releases by a24 apparently in the summer this one's one not to miss talk to me by the raka raka youtubers uh michael and danny philippou so number four on my list number three on my list is the persian version directed and written by mary m keshavars this is one of those movies that i went in knowing nothing really as well um press screening all of that it was very much so full and let me tell you, by the end of this movie, I was a mess crying. It was just one of those movies that really hits you. I think it does a very well job at doing a sort of generational span of a movie. Um, and that was one thing I was kind of like conflicted about as it was starting to happen in the movie. But by the end of it, I think it worked very well where we're able to see a story told through different times and different uh, people's perspectives. Perspective. And I think that was such a great way to tell the story. By the end of it, it wraps up beautifully. As I said, it is a tearjerker, so definitely know that going in. Uh, Leila Mohammadi, uh, Nyusha Noor, and Kaman Shafi Asbet are starring in this movie. And I very much so think that these uh, people in this movie are going to be receiving some critical acclaim for these roles. And also Persian version, I think definitely deserves as a movie as a whole like some critical acclaim for sure. So I'm excited when this one releases and can't wait for everybody to check it out. But that was number three on my list. Number two on my list is Magazine Dreams directed by Elijah Bynum. And this is the movie starring Jonathan Majors. And I definitely do think 
think that this one is going to be one that a lot of people are going to talk about. And like I said in my review, like a little short review I did on Twitter, um, this one's definitely going to be one that I think many people might have some problems with here and there. But at the end of the day, I think everybody's not going to be able to look away once they watch this movie. I do think that the way that they present this movie and the way that this movie is sort of handled is very tricky. I think it is very much so a delicate line about how to portray some things on the big screen but I think the movie goes through that line very good and he definitely puts on a stellar performance here Jonathan I'm excited to see um, him sort of be brought up into these conversations when it comes to award season because I definitely do see it here um, he plays this character very well it is a movie that has you on the edge of your seat and you have this sympathy but you also have this fear for his character so overall a good definitely bleak and dark movie gave me vibes of nightcrawler joker taxi driver those type of things and i definitely do think that this might be a controversial movie once it releases we'll see um i do have a review for that today so stay tuned for that but anyways let's move on to my number one pick so my number one pick of Sundance and my favorite movie of the festival overall and probably it's going to be in my top five of the year is Rylan, which is directed by Rain Allen Miller. You have uh, David Johnson, Vivian Opara um, starring in this. And let me tell you, this movie is a beautiful love story. I am a sucker when it comes to rom-coms and I was just waiting to have another rom-com that was going to come in and take me off my feet and this one does it just right. I think this one with the writing that it has, um, it says written by Nathan Bryan and Tom Melia. I think they do such an amazing job with the witty humor, the quick dialogue and making these characters feel real. You know a lot of times in romantic movies they play cliches, um, they play real life human beings. It is a genuine conversation that we have throughout the day. It kind of gave me a vibe of the sun uh, before and after sunset type movies um, from Richard Linklater but at the same time doing something new and fresh with it and I very much so enjoyed it I did like it from beginning to end shed a couple of tears here and there and I thought that it was one of those movies that I think is going to become an instant classic definitely a generation's um, rom-com for sure what that will be looked upon years to come and I'm excited for people to check this out I believe it should come out sometime in the spring um, I think it might come out in theaters if not in Hulu but we'll see um, definitely one to not miss Riley especially if you love rom coms and it just has good comedy all over and it's not that sappy cliche romance either it is a very well done romance from top to bottom but those are my top five picks and my honorable mention from Sundance I will have reviews for all of these movies I think I already have a review for talk to me if you want to check it out but we will be talking about the whole experience from Sundance as well in another video so stay tuned for that but very excited for these movies um, and their releases so let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell hit that um, description below for the indiegogo we are still trying to fund our own horror movie so go check that out but as always i'll see all of you next time let me know what you thought about my picks and if you were at sundance let me know which one's your favorite so anyways as always stay safe stay positive